So next question is question number 10 and we have to find the area of the parallelogram whose edges and sides are the vectors A and B. So in order to solve this, let's say this is our parallelogram A, B, C, D and this is A, B, C and D and this is our A vector and this is our B vector. So we already know that if we if we focus on this vertex and if we try to get the cross product of these two vectors and multiply its magnitude by half, we get the area of this triangle. So, and the triangle, uh, the, this parallelogram is divided into two triangles of equal areas by this diagonal. So, if we multiply this by two, so our area of parallelogram should be A cross B's magnitude. So, we will Try to find out. So this is the area of the parallelogram. So area of the parallelogram is just the cross product magnitude of the cross product of the two adjacent sides, and we will try to find their uh, the cross product first of all, and then their magnitude that should give us the area of the triangle. So A cross B is determinant of height J K with components one minus one three scalar components of A scalar components of B and that gives us I cap into 1 minus 6 minus J cap it's J cap into so I cap was it's not 1 minus 6 so I cap was minus 1 plus 21 minus J cap it's plus 21 it's minus j cap 1 minus 6 plus k cap it's minus 7 plus 2 so that gives us 20 i cap plus 5 j cap and it's minus 5 k cap and if we the area of the parallelogram area of parallelogram should be equal to magnitude of a plus B that should be 20 square plus 5 square plus minus 5 square and that should be equal to 400 plus 25 plus 25 and that should be equal to 450 and if we try to factorize this 450 450 can be written as it's 9 into 5 into 10. Square root of 9 is 3. And 5 into 10 can be written as 10 can be 5 into 2. So it's 3 into 5 into square units. And our answer should be 15 root 2 square units. So that's the area of the parallelogram, R spot.